What's poppin' everybody? My name is Tiffany and KM is beautiful. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> but today, as you can see by the title, will be a review, some swatches, and some makeup looks. Girl, it's a lot going on in this video, okay? Hopefully it won't get too long. If it do, then it might be a part two. Hey! <laughs> so, let's get right into it. What we will be reviewing today is the After Collection by Bad Habit Beauty. <laughs> they are sold by Shop Hush. Um, I don't think they're available on Shop Hush's like website, but it is available on the um, app. Um, I don't know if it's available currently, but you know they restock and all that kind of stuff on the app. So make sure you download Shop Hush's app to get all the exclusives, all the tea, like. Just download the app, okay? Just download the app. Because <laughs> there are restocks that they do that they don't necessarily always have on their website. So the After Collection includes the After Dark palette. And this is more of a warm tone palette. The After Party <laughs> palette. And this is a smoky palette. The After Hours palette. And this is more of like a mauve cool tone palette and the after shock palette and this is the colorful palette so these do retail for ten dollars each again on the shop hush app um they did have a bundle deal you get all four of these for thirty dollars so make sure you check it out if you're interested in these little like palettes i think they're great for like travel so all the palette includes nine shades and they have shade names and includes a mirror so yeah that, i mean it's pretty good for ten dollars okay and on the back it does also have the shade names again as well and palettes are cruelty free so what we're going to get into is some swatches of these palettes and then i'm going to create an eye look what i'm going to do with the eye look is just do like one eye for each palette just so the video won't be so long you know or that I won't really have to break up the video, like, break up, you know, these palettes. I don't know. But anyways. So, yeah, let's get right into it. This is the After Dark palette. The shimmer color is very creamy. Some of the mattes seem a little dry. But overall, I think these are pretty decent swatches. Here is the After Party Palette. Really pretty. Here is the After Hours Palette. And here is the After Shock palette. The mattes are pretty powdery, as you can see, kind of like right up in here. As I was swatching it, powder was literally like dropping off my finger. <laughs> and here are the swatches.
So this is the first look, you guys. Um, the eyeshadows, they blend very well, but they are very powdery. Um, I'm showing you guys the fallout. There's quite a bit of fallout, um, but I mean, it's nothing like, oh my God, but there is fallout and quite a bit of it. So um, the white shade, I don't know, for some reason when I try to put like, nude shades on my lid it just doesn't want to do right i don't think it's necessarily the palette but <coughs> it does look very clumpy and i think that's just because my eyes are like my eyelids might be a little dry um from the sasha buttercup powder that i set it with other than that everything else blended really really nicely i really really like it um i think i'm gonna just pop on some mascara maybe just a little bit not too much i don't want to be doing too much you know what i'm saying like there's something that you guys like an eye look that you really really want to see on both eyes with lashes and lip and all that stuff let me know um which book you want to see that with I think I might just do that anyway with whichever look I like the most. So there we go with the mascara. So here's the first look. We're going to move on to the second look. And then. So this was the After Dark Warm Palette. And I did forget to mention these are dupes, if you had noticed by now. These are dupes for the Hilda Beauty um, Obsessions Palette. Next, we're going to go in with the After Palette. some fallout from the lid color that I did here and there was a little fallout from the white shade that I put on my lid but here are the eye looks excuse my lashes they're like just everywhere <laughs> oh they're growing all sorts of directions but yeah so uh -huh. Alright, so now I'm doing the After Hours palette, and this is the Mauve Cool Tone palette. So we're going in with the Flushed. So I already went in with that. And then we're going in with, is that Carbonet? Looks like the more I blend it, it's becoming like a deep plum color. And this is the color that it's supposed to be. Definitely getting darker.
Master Shop palette. I like the color palette. So I did this color on the lower lash line, sorry I didn't show up. Alright guys, so here are the second two palettes. <coughs> Let's just talk about these really quick. So, I think for the price and the money, wait, that's the same thing. <laughs> I think for the price, you definitely get what you pay for. Um... I do like, I really like, I mean, I like the ballads. I do. And from me watching the Huda Beauty Obsessions, um, some of the tutorials and things, they pretty much have the same amount of fallout, same amount of payoff, and same amount of, like, you know, pigmentation, blendability, everything, from the other videos that I've seen. So... I don't think it's a far scratch from the Huda Beauty Obsessions palettes, but my favorite ones were the Aftershock, and I think the After Hours palette. I wanted to be able to just create a quick little look for you guys so you guys can see how they blend, the pigmentation, and everything like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it wasn't, it didn't seem too rushed. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, y'all know what I mean? So hopefully it wasn't too rushed. If so, just let me know. I'll do a more in depth but I feel like you guys kind of got the point because you know I applied them <laughs> I don't know but anyways um so yeah I would say definitely the after hours and the after shop palettes are ones you need to try if you're interested in these palettes um the other two I mean they're okay um the smoky one was really good as well I'm just I mean I don't know it's just not my thing really <laughs> and um the warm brown was just like any other kind of warm brown palette. I think we all kind of have those shades and tones in like 10 different palettes that we own, I'm pretty sure. I do like the palettes for what they're worth. Definitely think they are legit for the coin, okay? <laughs> so yeah guys, I think that is pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, let me know and I will get back to you. Let me know what you think. Let me know which palette you like the best. I might create, well, I'll definitely create more looks with each palette individually. Um, <clears throat> and maybe that'll be a little better. But let me know what you guys think of these palettes. And if you plan to pick up one or two or three or four. <laughs> um, so, yeah, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time. <laughs>